what's up it's savannah and i am back with another video the past week i have been seeing a lot of people that i know and that i care about are not doing okay and struggling struggling during this time um, with their mental health so i kind of wanted to get on here and film a video of 15 things or 15 tips that will kind of help with your self-care your self-care routine um, while going through this time. Okay, so this video is going to be separated into three different categories, body, mind, and soul. Um, and with those three categories, we're going to have five tips in each. Let's get started. Okay, so the first one is going to be getting your sleep schedule in order. In order. So making sure that you're going to bed and waking up around the same time every day is very important and making sure that you are getting those eight hours of sleep. Your mind cannot have a system of thoughts easily if you aren't in that same like REM cycle of sleeping. If you aren't going to sleep and aren't waking up at the same time, that's very hard for your brain to understand when it's time to wake up, when it's time to sleep, when it's time to think good thoughts, when it's time to think bad thoughts. It creates chaos in your mind. So being able to control your sleep schedule will then be able to try to start to help to control your thoughts. Next thing is eating three meals a day. So this will kind of go on the same with making sure you are on the same, same sleep schedule. If you are eating three meals a day, but you're eating them at like the wrong times, like let's say you're waking up at noon, so you're eating breakfast at noon, eating lunch at four or five, and then eating dinner at like nine or 10, that's gonna be very hard to go to sleep at a reasonable time if you're eating dinner very late. So if you wake up early, eat breakfast as soon as you wake up, then you'll be on a pattern for the rest of the day that's reasonable. This will help you just with that normal cycle, creating a pattern for yourself and creating a schedule. Schedules are very good. They help you maintain what is going on and it will help your brain declutter everything else. Next thing is drinking water. So yes, you can just, just drink normal water, but to make it a little fun, I add fruit to my water. So in here right now, I just have grapefruit and lime in my cute little Harry Potter glass that I got from, shout out Flexi. This is just a fun way to drink water, adding fruit and adding like herbs, mint and stuff like that. Um, just creates a little different flavor in your water. And I enjoy being in the kitchen, cutting up fruits and stuff. Um, it's kind of just something fun that I like to do, but this is a great way to get in your antioxidants, get in those extra fruits, extra vitamins, stuff like that. Drinking water makes your skin feel better, makes your hair feel better, makes your nails feel better. So drink water, stay hydrated, and take care of yourself, you guys. Next thing is going to be getting some exercise. So, making, so keeping those bones active, making sure you're keeping your body moving is very important. Um, go do yoga in the morning, stretch in the morning. Um, my boyfriend and I have been doing Insanity. They have videos on YouTube, 30 minutes, so we've been doing that. Um, it has been rough, you guys. It has been hard. We have been sweating our butts off, but excited to see our results. Next thing is making sure that if you are somebody who has to take medicine or you take vitamins, make sure you're continuing to do that, not get off that track. Make sure that you are still keeping up with your body, keeping control of your body. Your body is your place that you can have full control over, so make sure you're taking care of it. And getting that vitamin D, be in the sunlight if you can. If it's a nice day, go outside, take a walk. We live in an apartment building, so it's pretty hard for us to go outside. We have to touch like three to four doors before doing that. Um, so we've just been using our balcony to our advantage. We'll go out there, but still be away from everybody. And it's a great way to get some sunlight and, and it's awesome to be outside. All right, so we are going into mind now. Um, first thing is going to be create a vision board. There are things in your life that you are really striving for and you really want and you are so excited for your future because of those. Go online and print out some images of those and then print those off and tape those around your house. Um, you can put them on a cork board, you can put them on your closet wall, anything like that, just so you can see them every day and you can imagine that in your life. Make sure that you are putting power into that. Not saying stuff like, I want to have this, but I do have this. This is mine. I am claiming this. This is mine and I own it. Make sure that you are using those kind of verbiage and that kind of feeling. Another thing is to clean the environment that you're in. So if you are stuck in your house and that's where you're quarantined in, Make sure that you are cleaning that up. My first tip is going to be make sure you are making your bed every day. Um, this just starts to change your mindset from rolling out of bed and kind of dragging to the bathroom. If you get out of bed and you make that bed, that is one thing that you did today that is already productive. And if you're just in that mindset, I feel like that will start to get the ball rolling for the rest of the day. And if you have a hard time starting to, um, like starting to clean, 
Um, it's a good tip to start with 10 minutes and if 10 minutes has passed and you're done, quit then. At least you got something done. But a lot of the time, some people will continue to clean once they already have that ball moving. Um, so 10 minutes, 10 minutes isn't a long time and we have 24 hours now throughout this day. So get some cleaning done and clean up your space. It'll definitely be good for your mind. Next thing is going to be creating positive affirmations for yourself. I do have cards that are affirmations just have like pretty sayings on them and they have like, like pretty patterns on the back but if you don't have something like that make them yourself you can definitely make them to the decor that you already have in your home just make sure that they are something that will make you smile when you see them that they will make you feel good and make sure that they're placed in somewhere that you will see them um, this will just start to change your mind frame from negative to positive and make sure that you say these things to yourself when you see them. Make sure you're believing in that and you are putting that energy out there. So the next thing is kind of an activity. I saw this from a cool, cool mom on Facebook. She put this idea out for her kids, but I think it is a great way for everybody to create a new mindset for themselves. So get a jar. And anytime that you think of something that you wish you could be doing, but you can't because of the situation that we are in, write that down, put it in the jar. And once this is all over, you can start pulling from that jar to create a bucket list for yourself for stuff that you've wanted to do. I feel like this will start to allow us to appreciate the stuff that we took for granted. And this will allow us to remember the stuff that we missed when this is all over so that we don't take those for granted again. This will start to shift our mind frame from being negative and regretful for the things that we can't have to positive because of the things that we will have to come in the future. And next thing is going to be a brain dump. If you don't know what a brain dump is, it's basically just allowing your thoughts and your emotions that you're thinking and keeping in on the inside out. It is not good to bottle up your feelings or your emotions. You definitely need to let those out. If you don't have somebody who you like trust and feel like you can talk to them, write that stuff down. Journal. Journaling is a very good outlet. It allows, it allows you to speak without holding back. Um, for me, it is very hard for me to just journal. So what I like to do is I have two different books. One that's um, kind of a, a religious book that follows the books of the Bible. But I also have this one that I got at Five Below um, that kind of is kind of like a it starts prompting you but it kind of just gets you thinking about yourself and who you are so i really like this this has been very useful for me there are so many journaling prompts online on pinterest on youtube go check those out that'll definitely get the ball rolling and allow you to just start jotting down what you think this is just a great way to start getting out your emotions do not keep those in let yourself be heard you are entitled to everything you're feeling so let it out okay so we are moving on to soul First thing is going to be doing your makeup or doing your hair or putting on an outfit that feels good. When you feel good on the outside, you are definitely going to be more confident and feel much better on the inside. That is just proven. It just works. So for me, I did my makeup today. I straightened my hair. I put on a cool outfit that I feel comfortable in and I feel great. This will start your day off right. This will make you feel like you are in control of what you look like. You are in control of what you look like, so make yourself look good, make yourself feel good. You could do this all on your own. Next thing is gonna be meditation. So meditation is a great way to keep yourself grounded, to control what you can control. If you are new to meditation and aren't so sure about it, just take five minutes out of the day, just shut your eyes and think. Reminisce on the things that you have done throughout the day. Think about what you wanna do. This in itself is meditation and you might have not even known. So meditation is great. I myself even like to listen to meditation and the meditation music while I'm doing small tasks throughout the day, um, just to keep myself focused on that one task at hand instead of feeling um, super discombobulated and feel like I'm running around. This will make me grounded and allow me to finish my task. This is something that I do with meditation music. Create a happy playlist. Create playlists that will make you feel good that will create those happy, positive thoughts for yourself. Music is definitely, definitely good for the soul. So please play some music, regardless of what kind of music you listen to, as long as it's something that you can jam out to and you can feel good to while listening to it, that's the music you need. Next thing is going to be taking some time off of your phone. It is so easy to get stuck in reading and scrolling and seeing all the negativity online. So take some time throughout each day to just put your phone There's away. There's so much in your life that you need to focus on. Um, you can't control what's going on on the outside world. You can't control what's going on at your fingertips. So take some time away from that. 
I know that we want to be updated and be informed, but there is a difference between between being informed and being engulfed in something. So do not get engulfed in the news and all the bad things that are going on. And the last thing is going to just be doing things that you enjoy, making sure that you are controlling your happiness. I know it is tough to think about that we have control over ourselves, but we do. Each day, try to do one thing that you can do to better yourself. Happy. I know during this time we are thinking of our relatives and we are thinking of everybody else, but you really want to think of yourself as well. You can't help anybody if you aren't taking care of yourself. So do the things that make you feel good. But those are all the tips that I have for you guys. I hope those help. Um, if they did, give it a thumbs up. I hope to be making videos like this throughout the quarantine process, depending on how long this is going to last. Um, I want to be able to help you guys. I know there are people out there that are struggling and can't seem to figure out what to do, but there are professionals. If you need to see a professional, go do that. Do not feel like it's a bad thing. You can either do that face to face or they are doing like FaceTime sessions. So go check that out. If that's something you're interested in, but I'm thinking of you all. I am praying for you all and I love you all. Until then, be safe, stay inside and stay healthy. Bye guys.